You woke the wrong dog. We got to talk to Paul Sage, creative director for Borderlands 3. Through Skype, because Skype. obviously he is working hard on the game. Yep, because yep. it's coming out in the next few weeks by the time this video is out. Yep, yep. Our man is still in Texas working on the game. One of the questions that was asked was that we wanted to know if there was anything new about, mm. about Vault Hunter mode. And uh, Paul just told us that basically, you know, this time they're making sure that the level scaling is going to be done right. Mm. So like, you know, if you're going to start a new game plus, Vault Hunter, True Vault Hunter. So the moment you start from the start, every enemy that you've met before has been scaled to your current level. Yeah, so yeah. let's just say you're level 35. Your enemies you fight will be 35. Correct. This Correct. is actually like Ultimate Vault Hunter mode is, for Borderlands 2. Yep, like, is, so actually. basically, we are skipping a step. Yep. Because in yep. previous Bo uh, Borderlands games, you when you play True Vault Hunter mode, your enemies are scaled between 30 to 50, depending yep. on which stage you're at. It escalates per se. But now, there, I figured because of all those skills and all the abilities you have, yeah. especially when we check out the other classes like Zane and Amara, yeah. I figured the developers want to give us the extra challenge for those, especially Borderlands fans who want to replay the game, get better loot. Hey, you're going to have to work for it. So you, all your bosses, all your enemies are going to be the same level as you, which is actually pretty fun. It is, it yeah, is. And also it does help with the whole co-op aspect, i.e. you're supposed to play friends anyway. Yeah. And, and since you mentioned about the whole... Um, you know, wanting to make sure that the game stays engaging and difficult. And Paul Sage, actually, uh, we did ask a question about that too, about how, you know, he's going to maintain since... Um, he's going to maintain the way that the game is still challenging. Paul himself said that, you know, they're not focused on balancing the game. The word balance itself is not on the table. For them, it's about the highs and lows. Mm -hmm. Like, you want to make sure that the players feel good about themselves. So Paul Sage did say he were, he did work on Elder Scrolls and a couple of other MMORPGs. Yep. So, but then when he entered Borderlands 3, the only thing that he... I mean, one of the many things as a player especially is that he loves playing first-person shooters. So yep, he, he actually mention. brought his expertise. That's why I believe the mounting itself yeah. and the sliding was actually beneficial for Borderlands 3. Yeah, yeah. He also mentioned that... Um, you know, it's normal for like game developers to take inspiration from other games, you know, and he said, you know, he's been looking at other contemporary shooters and for him, uh, like when when he saw what he was trying to do with Borderlands 3, he wanted to implement, you know, uh, like better and faster ways of, of, of getting around and cooler ways of, of getting around. So, yeah, I think like implementing those kind of features is really great. I mean, mm. it's what I would say as, you know, what, what Borderlands should have done anyway, yeah. You know what Paul didn't say, unfortunately? What? Stuff about the PC version being Epic oh. Games exclusive. Well, okay, yeah. there wasn't one question you wanted to ask, but yeah. unfortunately, he couldn't really answer it because yep, yep. he might not be in a position. Yep. What was that question about that? the UK version, if I recall, right? He says, okay, so if you're a big Borderlands fan, even if you're not, uh, you know by now that most games have a collector's edition. Of course, right? every single game every out single there. Game. Yeah, you know, they got to milk you dry with mm. that kind of stuff. And so, Borderlands 3 uh, will also have a collector's edition. And unfortunately, the PC version will only have a collector's edition in the UK. Mm -hmm. So my question was, why? Why isn't it available in unavailable in other regions? Actually, your other question to complement that was to ask, will this be available outside the UK in the near future, post-release? Yes, exactly, exactly. Because... because uh, I checked on the official website itself. It says that it's only available in the UK and there's no specification if it ever will be available anywhere else in the future or not. So that's a big question for me because I'm pretty sure a lot of hardcore fans want to get the collector edition. It and comes with cool stuff. It comes with the, the diamond loot box and everything. So yeah. I think we know the answer to that. It's just that Epic, I mean, uh, 2K Games and Gearbox they don't want us to actually put two and two together. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the whole Epic Games uh, exclusivity, I believe that's kind of a necessary thing in this day and age to make your electronic digital store stand out. Yep, but yep. it does put a crimp in certain aspects. Like maybe you want a physical version of a PC game. You unfortunately have to get it from the UK, ship it and yep. everything. Yep. I mean, what are your thoughts about that? I mean, it is, I mean, that was what our answer is more or less, right? Our yeah. guess about that? I, for me, I think... You know, in, in most other cases, let's say, you know, for developers who are either, you know, very small or they're just starting up, I would understand, you know, if anyone wants to go 
for a Epic Game Store exclusivity. I would understand that, but it's just that when a triple A studio uh, like Gearbox, who's who's been selling Borderlands very well, I mean, we we wrote about how they sold more than five million copies recently, mm-hmm. and so like like within three months, within I three believe, months, yeah, yeah, from that expansion as yeah, especially. That's, that's a lot, and so it kept me wondering, you know, why would you need that, you know? Mm. And I wouldn't mind if you say, well, it's needed to pay the developers. Okay, I, I kind of can't accept that, but still, don't you think about the fans? Like, a lot of your fan bases come from, well, on the PC, come from Steam. Yeah, 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 true that, true that. But on the flip side, I do hope that at least Epic Games try their best to improve their downloader and their system exactly, their store exactly. and everything that, especially that w- for, for us Malaysians because they still haven't done localization so prices are still in USD oh yes which yeah. means yeah, we have to pay a little extra <laughs> yep, yep. so Borderlands fans in Southeast Asia might have to suffer a little bit for their pleasure this is-